Welcome to this screencast. I'm Mr. Gauvin. We are looking at binary shift for GCSE in computer science. A shifter is a fairly simple logical circuit and you can see that with four logic gates per bit you can shift these input bits either they stay in the same position or in this example they would move to the right with only four logic gates per bit. Consequently, CPUs always have shift operations and we're going to see how practical these are when you are doing some binary mathematical operations. Let's have a starting value of 7, 4 plus 2 plus 1. If I shift this to the left like so and add a 0 in my least significant, least significant bit, my number becomes 8 plus 2, 10 plus 4, 14. We've multiplied the number by 2 by shifting the bits to the left. Let's do another example. Here's a 20 made of 16 plus 4. If we move to the left, this 20 becomes 32 plus 8, 40. We've multiplied our starting value by 2. If we shift our 20 to the right, our number has now become 8 plus 2, 10. We've divided the number by 2. Now, what happens to those bits that get pushed off our 8-bit register? Here is the starting value 130, 128 plus 2. As we move this to the left, to do a shift to the left to multiply it by 2, now we are filling this with a 0 for the least significant bit and our value has now become 4 only. So if we are using this for mathematical calculation we have to be careful that we do not exceed what kind of number can be encoded in binary in the space we've got in this register. This is only an 8-bit register. The 130, we know its value would be 260. That is more than the maximum value we can, we can encode, we can store inside an 8-bit register. If you carry on studying computer science at a higher level than GCSE, you will see how this can be managed. As you know, computers can multiply higher number than, uh, than uh, 260. Here's an example with an odd number, 91. When we shift to the right, which would divide it by 2, the least significant bit just disappears in the case of this type of shifts. So our number is now 32 plus 8, 40, plus 5, 45, which is 90 divided by 2, not quite 91. Now those shift operations are easy for the CPU to do. They can be very practical. If you push this further than GCSE, you will have to learn how to handle the kind of errors that could creep in if you use this for your calculation. Thank you very much for following this screencast. I look forward to seeing your work in our lessons.